Ladies and gentlemen, what really caused the fallout between Rigathi Gashagwa and the Kenyatta family? That is one question which most Kenyans are currently asking. Because Rigathi Gashagwa was very close to the Kenyatta family to an extent that he served as Uru Kenyatta's personal assistant. But by the time of going to the elections last year, Rigathi Gashagwa was one of the biggest enemies of the then president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. At some point, Uhuru Kenyatta arrested Rigadi Gashagwa. And when Rigadi Gashagwa took over, we've seen his anger and is currently on a revenge mission. But the question which most of us are unable to understand is what really caused that fallout. Yesterday, Mamangina Kenyatta, who is Uhuru Kenyatta's own mother, attacked Rigadi Gashagwa for being a fake son of Mau Mau. Today, Rigadi Gashagwa responded to Mamangina Kenyatta. But what really caused the fallout between these two individuals, the families? Because if you ask me, the fallout is too deep to an extent that if given a chance, these guys can even eliminate each other. But Kenyatta family is currently planning and strategizing on how they can end Rigadi Gashagwa's political career. In this video, I want us to look at the strategies which the Kenyatta family are using to ensure that Rigadi Gashagwa and his politics comes to an end. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without this, that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And uh, the best way you can support the channel is by giving the video a thumbs up, sharing the videos, and also dropping your comments. And I want to thank Sally, long time. I received your coffee. You can also do the same using the numbers which I hope by now you have. Now, let us go straight to this fallout between the Kenyatta family, then uh, I'm going to look at the strategies which the Kenyatta family are currently em employing. Why do you think the Kenyatta family are planning to end Rigadi Gashagwa's political career? Let us agree that number one, the raid on the Kenyatta family land at Northlands was ordered supervised and planned by none other than Rigadi Gashagwa. That move did not sit well with the Kenyatta family. And because of that attack, the Kenyatta family are going to deal with Rigadi Gashagwa ruthlessly. The only advantage Rigadi Gashagwa has right now is that he's the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. As a matter of fact, the only other reason why Ruto appointed Rigadi Gashagwa was because of his ability to fight the Kenyatta family. So let us wait and see how it's going to go. But that raid on Kenyatta family land is something which I think pricked right in the middle of the Kenyatta family. Number two, Rigadi Gashagwa has sustained an attack on the Kenyatta family. In fact, just like I was trying to explain, the reason why Ruto appointed Rigadi Gashagwa was because of his ability to attack the Kenyatta family. At some point, Rigadi Gashagwa became so personal with Uru Kenyatta. Remember, Rigadi Gashagwa was at, point, at one point arrested huh? and he was released. I, I don't think even uh, he spent the night in the police station, police cells. But if, he's, if Rigadi Gashagwa is talking, you would imagine that Rigadi Gashagwa was arrested, spent nine days in cells, which was not the case. But he has continued to attack the Kenyatta family. Like uh, today, he sustained those attacks. So the Kenyatta family are going to revenge. Number two, the, the fallout which is between Rigadi and Uhuru is actually known to them and the family. And I think the fact that Rigadi was able to deliver the mountain to Ruto is something which Uhuru Kenyatta is not going to take slightly. So they are going to do everything possible to try and get to him. And the other thing is, Rigadi Gashagwa is on a revenge mission. And because he's on a revenge mission, 
the Kenyatta family must deal with him. But what strategies are the Kenyatta family using in trying to tame Rigathi Gashagwa? That is the biggest question. And by the way, earlier today I was in Ndewa, where I attended the funeral service for the late Kennedy Kiasa, who is the elder brother to my friend Jared Kiasa. And I thank the people from Ndewa. They really did well in uh, that and I loved their politics, you know. There were different factions, but a kind of discipline and maturity was displayed. Thank you guys what one they were. But what, what strategies are they using, the Kenyatta families are using to tame or to finish Rigadi Gashagwa? And will they be able to actually finish Rigadi Gashagwa? The first strategy which they are trying to use is to set up the Kikuyus against Rigadi Gashagwa. Remember, William Ruto successfully managed to set up the Kikuyus against the Kenyatta family. So the Kenyatta family are trying to now set up the Kikuyus against Rigadi Gashagwa. But Rigadi Gashagwa is a bit smart for them. I just want to give you a demonstration how they are trying to do this. Eh? When the Kenyatta family farm was raided, what happened? The Kenyatta family said, we are not going to respond but we'll deal with it our way so up to now they've not responded on the raid on the land but majority of kenyans believe especially those from the mountain that that raid was actually engineered by rigadi gashagwa so the kikuyus were actually mad by the fact that these guys went ahead and raided kenyatta family you know even if kenyatta family are bad these are people who have always been supported by the Kikuyus. So which means there's a way they view them. So by keeping that silence, it means they're trying to set up the Kikuyus against Rigadi Gashagwa. Whether it's going to work or not, that is something which I still can't tell. Number two, I also tend to think that the Kenyatta family are out to use their money to sponsor anti Rigadi Gashagwa's rebellion in the mountain. So far, nothing much has happened. But I want you to look at the activities of uh, Mwangi Wairia. Why do you think Mwangi Wairia is coming out forcefully the way he's doing? And his mission is simple and clear. Rigadi Gashagwa. Why do you think that is happening? Someone is behind Mwangi Wairia. And you know, there's no way Rigadi Gashagwa will deal with Mwangi Wairia because he's dealing with a bigger war, which is the Kenyatta family. Kenyatta family has the money. So if they want to disrupt Rigadi Gashagwa in the mountain, they have that ability. Up to now, for example, I'm yet to understand why the Kenyatta family actually failed to stop Ruto. Will they be able to stop Rikadi Gashagwa? But the fact is, we are likely to start seeing anti Rigadi Gashagwa's rebellion in the mountain. Raila Odinga has left the country. He's going to be away. He's leaving the country actually tonight. And he's likely to be away for the next one month. During that one month when Raila Odinga will be absent from the political scene, I want you guys to pay very close attention to the activities which will be happening in the mountain. So that's the second strategy. Sponsor anti Rigadi rebellion. Number three is this issue of Mount Kenya Kingpin. Let me ask you a question. Who is Mount Kenya Kingpin as we speak? You can say Rigadi because he's the deputy president. Some will say Uhuru because he was the president of the Republic of Kenya. But why are we witnessing People jostling for this position in the mountain. We have the emergence of Mwangi Wairia saying that he's the, the leader. Maina Njenga actually declared himself the sole spokesperson of the mountain. What do you understand by that Maina Njenga's declaration? For me, I'm understanding it to mean that Maina Njenga has now declared himself the kingpin of the mountain 
The next day, Rigadi Gashaga will say no. He will respond to Rigadi. Rigadi will respond. A political war will erupt. Maina Njenga will organize an event. Rigadi Gashaga will organize an event. These guys will start engaging. So we'll expect one day Maina Njenga dealing with Rigadi Gashagwa ruthlessly. Why do you think people like Moses Korea and even Dindinyoro are positioning themselves for the position of the Kyu Kingpin? Because they feel that Rigadi Gashagwa is not the right person. While in real sense, being the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, nobody should even be contemplating becoming the kingpin of the mountain, especially those who are in UDA. Because UDA has a structure. There is no way you can claim that William Ruto, the president, is the kingpin nationally. Then, down here, the Gabi Gashagwa, who is his deputy, is not the kingpin down here. So this issue of the kingpin is what the Kenyatta family are going to use. They are going to ensure that one of their bets is going to go through. They are going to, 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 to set up Rigadi. They are going to set up Mwangi Wairia. They are going to set up Maina Njenga. They are going to set up Moses Kuria. They are going to set up Lindy Nyoro and maybe someone else. These guys will gang against Rigadi Kashagwa. The best strategy which I think they are likely to do is to try and have Rigadi Gashagwa dropped as William Ruto's running mate in 2022 and 27. You know, William Ruto today is the president of the Republic of Kenya. He won the presidency courtesy of the votes from the mountain. If the mountain will show signs that they will not vote for Ruto, or they are not comfortable with Rigadi Gashagwa, then something is going to happen. William Ruto is definitely going to pick Muslim Ravani. And that's how you can read the elevation of Muslim Ravani. So if William Ruto will go ahead and pick someone as the deputy president outside Mount Kenya, what do you think is going to happen? Someone was telling me that yesterday when Rale Unigadi's team were in Muranga, something strange happened. Rigadi Gashagwa had told the police not to allow Reludinga. Then William Ruto placed a call and insisted that nothing should happen to Azimio. So the moment Rigadi Gashagwa will be dropped as the running mate, that will basically mark the end of Rigadi Gashagwa and the Kenyatas shall have won. And lastly, they're also planning to use Rigadi Gashagwa's own mistakes. You know, Rigadi Gashagwa is a man who is known to commit lots and lots of political mistakes in his career. So these guys are going to take advantage of some of these mistakes. Like any reckless talks will be followed by sustained and Rigadi Gashagwa's sentiments online and even on the ground. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts. What strategy do you think these guys are using against Rigadi and can they succeed? Let me read your comments below. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.